Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to crochet this very cute little bear with a scarf. So get your materials ready and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start by making the arms we'll make two and we'll start with the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six then i'll pull my yarn to close the gap like that then i'll take my marker and place it over here okay so now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 single crochets so we'll increase in the next stitch and increase in all the other stitches Okay, so now in the third and the fourth row, we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 12 single crochets. So we'll continue and do single crochet. And you do single crochets all the way around in this round and the next round, which is the fourth round. And then we'll start the fifth round together. Okay, so after we're done with the fourth round, now for the fifth round, we are going to start by decreasing two times. So we'll decrease one time. and decrease again and we'll continue to do single crochets in the remaining 10 stitches uh, sorry in the remaining eight stitches so we'll have a total of 10 stitches in total so continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end okay so now when you get to the end for the next 13 rounds which is from round six until round 18 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in this row and all the remaining rows until we get to round 18 okay so we'll have a total of 10 stitches in each round so you continue and do single crochets all the way around 
and you continue doing this until you get to the 18th round okay so i'll see you when you're done with round 18 and then we'll finish up together okay so now when you get to the end uh, of row 18 this is how your arm should look like so I stuffed just the lower part you should do that too and when I'm done I'm just going to remove my marker and then I'll crochet through the two parts together so I'll do four single crochets on each side so on both sides I do single crochet one and then through the other two side I'll do another single crochet then another single crochet and the other one and then I'll do a chain one and cut off the yarn like that okay so this is how our little arm looks like so you'll crochet the other arm the same way that we did with this one and now let's crochet the legs Okay, so for the legs, we'll start by making six single crochets into the magic ring and we'll start with the skin color yarn and I've already did that. Now, in the second row, we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. So, I'll increase the next stitch. and increase all the remaining stitches Okay, so now in the third row we are going to do single crochet then increase in the next stitch then we repeat that single crochet increase all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet increase and repeat that all the way round okay so after we are done with that now for the next three rounds which is round four five and six we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 18 stitches in each round so you're just going to continue and do single crochet all the way around in each and every round until you get to the sixth round okay so i'll see you at the end of round six and then we start the seventh round together okay so when you get to the end of round six this is how the lower part of your leg should look like so now in round seven we are going to start by doing six single crochets so we we'll do single crochet one two three four five and six and then we'll decrease three times so decrease 
one, decrease again, and decrease the third time. Okay, and then we'll do in the remaining six stitches, we'll do single crochets. Okay, so we'll have a total of 15 stitches. Okay, so now in the um, eighth row, we are again going to start by doing six single crochets. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four. five and six okay and then we are going to decrease one time and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining seven stitches So now we have a total of 14 stitches okay so after that now we're going to change to the blue color or the trouser color okay so I've changed to the blue color so I just tied a knot a simple knot to join the two yarns together okay so now in the next round which is round nine we are going to do single crochets all the way round so I'll continue and do single crochet and continue all the way until you get here at the end where our marker is okay so now at the end of the row also as you can see uh, this is how it looks like so now we are going to continue doing single crochets in all the remaining rounds until you get to round 15 okay so do single crochet in the next round which is the 10th round until you get to round 15 and then we'll finish off together okay so now when we have two stitches left at the end of round 15 uh, this is how our leg looks like so I'll just do single crochet here and one stitch just before my marker I'm just going to remove it and finish off over there so when you're done with the first leg you're just going to cut off the yarn but you'll do the second leg the exact same way but do not cut off the yarn when you get here because you're going to join the two legs together okay so now let's join the two legs together and to join we're going to do a chain four so one two three and four and then i'm going to take this other leg and make sure they are adjacent to each other like that and then here in the middle just like the the other place on the other leg I'm just going to join with a single crochet like that and I'll place my marker over here and I'll continue to do single crochets all the way around so we'll have 14 single crochets So 
so continue doing single crochets all the way until we get here where we joined with a chain four okay so when we get where we joined with a chain four we are going to do single crochet in each chain so we'll have four single crochets so i'll do single crochet here in the first chain and single crochet in the second chain single crochet in the third chain and single crochet here in the fourth chain and then i'll continue to crochet single crochets in the next leg so again we'll have 14 single crochets so continue doing single crochets until we get here again where we joined with a chain four okay so again when we get where we joined with a chain four we are going to do single crochet in each chain on this other side so we'll have again four single crochet on where we join so two and then in the third chain again we do single crochet and single crochet in the fourth chain like that Okay, so as you can see, we've arrived where we placed our marker. So we have a total of 36 stitches. So that is 14 stitches on this leg, 14 stitches on this other leg, and then we have four stitches here we joined on this side and four stitches on this other side. So a total of 36 stitches. Okay, so now in the second row of the body, we are going to start by doing seven single crochets okay so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six and seven then we'll increase in the next stitch so increase and then we're going to do eight single crochet then increase and we'll do that three times so we're going to count one two three four five six seven eight and then increase in the next stitch and then we'll repeat that again two times so you'll do eight single crochets increase and then again eight single crochets and increase okay so after we are done with that we have one stitch remaining at the end which we're going to do single crochet so now we'll have a total of 40 stitches okay so now when we're done with that now for the next uh six rounds which is from round three until round eight we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each round for a total of 40 stitches in each round so continue and to do single crochets until you get to the eighth round and then we'll do the ninth round together Okay. 
Okay, so at the end of round eight, this is how our little bear looks like. Okay, so now uh, in round nine, we are going to start by making eight single crochets. So we'll do single crochet one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight, and then we are going to change to the brown color yarn. Okay, so after changing to the brown color yarn, we are going to continue doing single crochet all the way until we get to where our marker is. So we'll have a total of 40 stitches. So continue doing single crochets all the way until you get to the end. Okay, so remember to stuff as you go. As you can see, I've already started stuffing mine. Okay, so now in the 10th round, we are going to start by doing 8 single crochets. So we'll do single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then we'll decrease. So decrease. And then we'll continue and do 17 single crochets. So we'll continue. One, two, three, four, and continue until you have 17 single crochets. 16, 16 and 17. Okay, and then we are going to decrease again one time. So decrease. And then we are going to do single crochets in the remaining 11 stitches. So we'll have a total of 38 single crochets, 38 stitches. So continue and do single crochets all the way to the end. Okay. So now in the next round, which is the 11th round, we are going to do single crochets all the way to the end for a total of 38 stitches. So continue and do single crochets all the way until the end. Okay, so now in the 12th round, we are going to start by doing seven single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then we are going to decrease one time. So decrease and then we'll do 17 single crochets one two three four 
and continue until you have 17 single crochets 16 and 17 okay and then now we are going to decrease again so decrease and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining 10 stitches so we'll have a total of 36 stitches so do single crochets all the way until the end okay so now in the 13th round we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 36 stitches so continue to do single crochets all the way until the end okay so now in round 14 we are going to decrease and then do 10 single crochets and then we are going to repeat that again uh, two more times until the end for a total of 33 stitches so we are going to start by decreasing and then we'll do 10 single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and then again we'll decrease and do ten single crochets and then again decrease and do 10 single crochets okay so now in the next round which is the 15th round we're going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 33 stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end okay so now in the 16th row we are going to start by decreasing And then we'll do nine single crochets and then we'll repeat that again two times so we'll have a total of um, 30 stitches so we'll count nine single crochets one two three four five six seven eight and nine and then again we'll decrease and do nine single crochets and one more time decrease and then nine single crochets Okay, so now in our 17th row, we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. So we'll continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end. Okay, so now in the 18th round, we are going to do decrease, then do eight single crochets. 
and we are going to repeat that three times for a total of 27 stitches so we'll start by decreasing and do eight single crochets one two three four five six seven and eight and then again you're going to repeat that again two more times Okay, so now in the 19th round we are going to do single crochets all the way around for a total of 27 stitches so continue and do single crochets all the way until you get here at the end Okay, so now in the 20th round, we are going to start by decreasing and then do seven single crochets. Then repeat that two more times for a total of 24 stitches. So we are going to decrease, then do seven single crochets. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and then repeat that two more times. Okay, so now in the twenty first row, we are going to do single crochets all the way round. For a total of 24 stitches so we'll continue and do single crochets all the way until you get to the end okay so remember to continue stuffing the bear's body as we continue okay so now in the 22nd round we are going to decrease and then do six single crochets and we we'll repeat that two more times for a total of 21 stitches so we'll decrease and then we'll do six single crochets so one two three four five six and repeat that two more times okay so now in round 23 we are going to start by doing 14 single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four and continue until you have 14 single crochets okay so now after the 14 single crochets we are going to attach the first arm so in the next four stitches together so our crochet in the uh in the arm and the body so that's first stitch then the second stitch third stitch and the fourth stitch
like that okay and then i'll do single crochet in the remaining three stitches okay so now we'll have a total of 21 stitches in the entire row okay so now in the 24th row we are going to start by doing three single crochets so one two three and then we'll attach the other arm same way So crochet through the arm and the body. So one, two, three. and four okay and then now in the remaining 14 uh stitches we'll do single crochet all the way to the end until where our marker is okay so continue to do single crochet all the way until the end Okay, like that okay so now in the 25th round we are going to start by decreasing so we'll decrease and then do five single crochets so one two three four five and then we'll repeat that again two more times so decrease five single crochet then again decrease and five single crochets Okay, so now in the 25th row, sorry, in the 26th row, which is the last row of the body, we are going to do 10 single crochets, then finish off. So we'll do single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then we are going to slip stitch in the next stitch and cut off the yarn. Okay, and then you're going to make sure you stuff your body fully. And then now we are going to start making the head. 